It is no mystery why Nigeria won Cameroon with a comfortable 2-0 margin. But was it because of their history of eliminating this age-long rival from the AFCON knockout stages since 2004? Or perhaps it was because Onana was not allowed to play? Or is it because Nigeria's Jalop is sweeter than Ghana's? In this match review, I'll tell you why they won. Stay tuned. On paper, it appeared the Super Eagles went in with a 4-3-3 formation. Four defenders, three midfielders and three strikers. On the contrary, the real deal was a 3-4-3 formation with five defenders, two midfielders and three attackers. The cool thing about this formation was that the three of these defenders had great offensive plays, which contributed to the win. First, let's take a look at the defense game of the Super Eagles. A lot of defending was done in the midfield for a greater part of the game. This prevented Cameroon from having easy access to feed their attackers with the ball. And when the ball eventually got to the attackers, you had defenders marking man to man to prevent the Cameroonian attackers from doing damage. So formidable was the defense that Cameroon ended the match with no shots on goal. Even after Wabali got injured and was subbed off for Uzo, the Nigerian keepers were on holiday. Half time. Hello, please take a moment to support our channel by liking this video. Also subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you always know when we post another video. Now, let's get back to the action. Now, we look at the offensive play that produced the two lovely goals. The Super Eagles came in gone blazing and had their first break but it was ruled as offside. Nevertheless, notice the pattern of the attack. Victor Osimen was hardly left off as a lone striker. There was someone with him most of the time as he was always marked out by at least two Cameroonian defenders. However, he always found some slippery moments to outsmart the defenders. Such was the case of the first goal. After dispossessing a defender, he passed the ball to Lukman, who was with him, and Lukman scored his first goal of the day. Now, talking about Nigerian defenders supporting the attack, we can see clearly here a case where Moses Simon combined play with Lukman to lay a lovely pass to La Aino, whose shot was blocked. Freeze the clip. Let's back up a bit. Now, notice how the Super Eagles attacked. They did so in numbers, not leaving the walk to only Victor Osime. Also notice how Lukman was playing towards the center. This positioning will be vital in the next attack. Let's get to that. The second goal came six minutes later when Calvin and Lukman moved gingerly with the ball along the flank. Lukman then passed to Iwobi and then Lukman gets the ball back from Calvin. Just a second. Now let's back up and analyze the situation a bit. There on the left flank is Calvin, another defender reinforcing the attack. Also notice Lukman's new positioning towards the center. Also notice how many defenders are surrounding Victor Osime, but allowing Lukman to run free. Now, watch the goal play out. Wow! Amazing! Finally, another beautiful thing about the Super Eagles gameplay was that they did not sit back to soak in the pressure after the first goal or the second. They actually held possession until the final whistle. It was indeed a good game for the Eagles. Their defensive and attacking game plan worked perfectly for them. That's all guys. If you enjoyed this review, let us know how you feel in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Please support our channel by liking this video. Also subscribe and turn on the notification button so you will know when we post another video. See you in the next video.